Welcome to Soyuz video number three, capsules. Let's start at the beginning with a 35 millimeter rod of brass and a master machinist named Roman. He learned his craft in the weapons factories of Tula before moving on to microphones. He's one of the few guys you'll ever meet who can consistently get two micron tolerance out of a manual lathe. But it can't be just any lathe, it has to be an extra special one. We use two classic IJ 250 lathes made at the Kalashnikov factory in Ijevs. They're all guaranteed to achieve four microns, but it's only a few of them that can get two. When you find one of those, you don't use it for anything other than cutting capsules. The first step in the creation of our capsules is cutting what our machinists call pancakes out of the brass rod. These are the basic forms which will become the electrodes or back plates of the capsules. They are carefully shaped and then sent over to the base for drilling. Our capsule design for the SU-017 is based on the classic Neumann K67. We drill all of the holes in the capsules by hand using special case-hardened steel templates. Each Soyuz SU-017 capsule has an astounding 248 holes hand drilled. Once the holes are drilled, the back plates are annealed in a special oven to relieve any tension that is built up in the metal. This is an essential step before the all-important cutting process. Once the electrodes have been annealed, we add a special plexiglass plug. The electrode and plug are put into a brass holder and placed into an oven at a very stable temperature. Once they have cooled, they are carefully examined and then sent back to our machinist for cutting. Cutting the electrode is perhaps the most difficult step in the creation of a handmade capsule. To execute it correctly, the machinist must be of the very highest level and the lathe must be exceptionally accurate. There is a very strict limit of two microns which must be achieved for the capsule to function correctly. After the cutting stage, the electrodes are sent back to the base so that each hole can be carefully checked and cleaned. Each electrode is then further polished using a special surface after which it is tested with an old but very accurate Soviet micrometer. With our vintage gold sputter machine, one of our scientists coats the mylar diaphragms with a very thin layer of gold. After gluing the diaphragm to the ring, one of our assemblers carefully punches holes in the mylar. The ring and diaphragm are then screwed to the electrode. Finally, the two electrodes are joined together and a screw is added, connecting the gold sputter diaphragm to the electrodes. And thus is born a brand new Soyuz SU-017 capsule.